welcome, 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 welcome to an exciting video in how to convert your pixel width web layout into percentages. Now, why would I want to do that? Well, first of all, if your site was built in tables, you definitely want to convert your tables to div tags. Absolutely. For search for search engine optimization. In addition to that, this video is going to cover how to convert from pixels to percentage using Dreamweaver, total in Dreamweaver, no calculator, no rocket science, just simple, simple, simple techniques. So as an example, if I resize this browser window, you'll see that it's not responsive. It doesn't basically do anything. Now that could be basically because I didn't have a viewport or media queries, but that's not the case. If we go and look at the code for this, command key Y or control Y for Windows, you will see that all the div tags have been set to percentages. The wrapper tag is set to percentages. The branding tag is set, to, I'm sorry, set to pixel width. The wrapper set to pixel, the branding set to pixels, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we need to convert that to percentages. And we're going to use Dreamweaver and let Dreamweaver do the heavy lifting for us so we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Now, this is a very, very common problem. And think of all the money out there you can make just converting all the thousands of millions of websites that now need to be converted to div tags or eventually HTML5 tags, which I'm going to basically show you how to do both. I'm going to show you how to convert the pixels to percentages, but I'll also show you how to convert the div tags into HTML5 friendly tags, which are great for multiple devices, iPhone, iPad, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go into Dreamweaver and get this done. So the first thing we want to do here is I'm just going to go to the file menu, file, save as, Macintosh, command, shift, s, Windows, of course, that would be control, shift, s. And I'm just going to give it this file name of version 5, RWD, which stands for Wrap Responsive Web Design. And I'm just going to save that. Okay, so let's examine a few things that we need to change. Well, the first thing we need to change, we want to make this responsive. So as an example, I'm using Dreamweaver CS6, and if you're not using CS6, I highly suggest you get CS6. Now, for those of you that are saying, well, that's a lot of money, well, guess what? For 19 bucks a month, you can upgrade to the cloud version of CS6. And if you think 20 bucks is a lot of money, perhaps you're in the wrong business, because if for any reason that you think you can't afford 20 bucks a month, well, you built it into your client's price for the design. So get your client to pay for it. So because I'm in CS6, I could basically click right here. Here's my desktop version. Here's my iPad version. Well, that's not resizing. And again, the reason it's not resizing is because this is not in percentages. So if you want to make a fluid, good, responsive design, the first stop we have to do is change things to percentages. Now, the first thing we can do is double click the wrapper tag double click the wrapper ID. So this is a div tag with a wrapper ID of wrapper. And we're going to go to the box category, category box. By default, this was set up to 960 pixels, which is great for fluid grid design and mathematically goes down to an iPhone, which of course is a third of that. So first thing we need to do is make this percentages. And that's an easy thing to do. We're just going to make that 100 and I can just type in percentages and hit OK. Now, of course, if I go back to my desktop here, desktop version, this is going to be the entire width of the site. Well, that's a good thing and a bad thing. I certainly do want to make this 100% wide, but I want to contain it to be a certain width, even though it's 100% for responsive design. So the next thing I need to do here is go to the wrapper ID, wrapper rule, the CSS rule for wrapper, come down here to add properties. I'm going to click here. I'm not going to type here. I'm just going to click right here and I'm going to type in max hyphen width, max width. The max width, we're going to make 960 pixels. So now I get the best of both worlds. Now it's going to be a percentage for fluid grid design, responsive design, but I'll also get this to be 960 pixels wide. Now, for those of you that are using CS5 or CS5.5, it's not going to show you when you change your maximum width inside of Dreamweaver. You're going to have to get a live view or publish it to a browser window. That's another reason why you want to upgrade to CS6. Okay, so that's out of the way. Make a change, save a change. So let's start and go from tag to tag to tag and just convert that one step at a time. So the next thing we need to do is go to the branding tag. I'm going to double click. And there's the branding rule for the branding tag. Now, the branding rule, if you're thinking, well, that's kind of a, a wacky percentage. Well, that happens to be a golden ratio percentage, meaning that it works in thirds. So this width of this tag here is 1.618 
bigger than this, which is the golden ratio rule of design. All good design involves that. Pyramids, the Parthenon, it's basically using the golden ratio. So this is set up to be the golden ratio, but unfortunately this is set up in pixels. So what we need to do here is convert this to percentages. Now, if you slept through fourth grade math class, this next step will probably hurt your head. But I'm gonna make this so incredibly simple, it really is this simple. We're gonna let Dreamweaver do all the heavy lifting based on my technique. So we're gonna take that number and divide that by the width of the site, which we set to be 960 pixels. So we're gonna type in 960. Do not hit the return key. I'm just gonna hit the tab key. So that's our new pixel width, but I need to convert that to percentages. We're not gonna do that right away, but we are gonna take this number and move the decimal point by simply saying this number times 100. So that's gonna be the percentage. So that percentage is what we now need. So we now convert that to percentages just by doing this. Now, very important step. Dreamweaver, in fact, all Adobe products will let you do the math inside the dialog box. Illustrator does that, Photoshop does that, InDesign does that, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we need to basically, we can't do the math if this says percentages. You have to do the pixels first, then turn it into percentages. So we need to do the same thing for this. Now again, I'm not concerned about the top and the bottom. I'm only concerned about right or left. Responsive design has to do with the width of a device, not necessarily the height of a device. So in addition to converting this to percentages, we're also going to show you techniques on converting your div tags in a very simple way, no hand coding, to HTML5 friendly tags. That's why you're here to learn how to do this stuff the right way. Letting Dreamweaver do the heavy lifting for you, and that's what I'm all about. Letting this software work for you. Whether it's Final Cut, whether it's 3D Studio Max, whether it's Maya, Blender. I teach all those programs, and I squeeze the sponge on how to do it the right way. So the right, basically I'm taking these pixels, and I'm gonna say divide it by 960, and then take that number in times by 100. That moves the decimal point over. So this is now set to percentages. I do the same thing with this. I, what percentage of that is of 960? Again, take the number, divide it by 960. And take this number in times by 100. Then the only thing you need to do is basically convert that to percentages by picking percentage. Now, you don't have to pull the menu down. You can actually just type the, the percentage symbol here, and that will basically do the same thing. So if I hit the apply option right now, you'll see that that's exactly, exactly, exactly what it needs to be. So this is the same width it was before, including the padding and everything else. Now, if you're building this from scratch, and I'll do an exercise in a, in a future video, if you're building this from scratch, you would have to deduct this. You'd have to deduct the padding, the margin, the border space from this total width. That's how I got these numbers to start. So that solves that problem. Make a change, save a change. Now let's move on to social media ID. Now again, these are just div tags, div tags with different IDs. So this is an ID called social media. Now a little trick here. Let's say that you didn't build the site, which obviously you did it, and you're not sure if there's a rule for that or not. So what I suggest you do, if this is a site that you have to change, that maybe some other developer put it together, and now you have to go in there and clean up their mess, hopefully not. So what you would do is go to current, and then with current selected, I can simply come down here, and that's gonna currently select the rule for that. So that's just a little technique. The other thing we can do in Dreamweaver 2 is if you go to live view, and then you click on inspect, and wherever you put your cursor, see, watch over here to the right, wherever you put your cursor, that's gonna tell you the name of that tag, and it's gonna select the name of the tag. So you can either do that with the inspect in live view, or you can do it without live view just by coming down here, but you do have to be on current. Now, since I built the site, I know that the that's the social media tag, and if you're not sure about that, it says so right here. So we're not gonna create tags, we're not gonna create rules rather, we're gonna affect rules by double clicking. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna go to the box category. Oh, brand, oh, I'm sorry, not branding, social media, not paying attention, double click. Go to the box category, and this is set again to be percentage, this is set to be pixels. So we're gonna take this number divided by 960, or whatever the width of your wrapper tag is. Mine happens to be 960. You can do whatever the width of your container tag is. 
So that gives you this number here. I then take this number and I times by 100. Then I just convert that to percentages, or actually change that value, which was once pixels to percentage. This doesn't convert it to percentages. This just tells it that it is a percentage. Now, I can do the same thing here as well, but I don't, I'm not concerned about the top and the bottom, so I'm going to deselect Sam for all, so I can basically affect just the right and just the left. So again, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to take this number and divide by 960, which gives us this number, and then take that number and times by 100. Again, guys make, and girls, make sure you hit the tab key, not the OK button. Now, if you want to be totally lazy, because that's the same percentage, I can just copy that and paste it right there and then just put the percentage then at the tab key when you have the tab key that's going to okay those changes so if i hit the apply option right now everything's the same everything is visually the same in fact to demonstrate that let's go up to our file menu preview and browser now i'm not connected to an ftp site i'm just going to launch it locally on my browser window so this is just local on the browser but the percentages are still the same in fact if i now start moving this down, you'll see that the top part moves down because that's in percentages. The rest is not going to move down because that's not in percentages, but the rest, but the, the, the top is because that's what we did. So let's go back into Dreamweaver.